This is my Canon 5D Mark IV. It's a 30 megapixel camera, but today I'm going to show you how to get 120 megapixels out of this. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And what I said in my intro just then, it is 100% correct. I wanna show you how I get 120 megapixel files out of a 30 megapixel camera. And this works with any camera. You don't need a specific camera, even uh, phone cameras will work. And we are going to be using a feature that's been introduced into Lightroom that was previously introduced into Photoshop, which quadruples the resolution of your images. So I've got an image that I've selected. I'm gonna take you into Lightroom now and I'm gonna show you how that works. Okay, so here we are inside of Lightroom. And uh, just so that we're clear, I'm on version 10.3. Um, now, if I could get you to look on the right-hand side here in the metadata of the image, you'll notice that the dimensions are 6,720 by 4,480. 4, and if you multiply those two numbers together, you're going to get just over 30 million, which is uh, 30 megapixels. And I picked this photograph because there's loads of detail in here. So if we increase the megapixels, in theory... Uh, we should see an improvement in the clarity and in the resolution of the image and the sharpness uh, as well. So um, this is a picture of Sydney Harbour. This is the uh, Sydney Harbour Bridge over here. And this over here you can see is Luna Park. Okay, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you can see that there. Oh, let me just zoom out just a little bit. I zoomed in too much there. Uh, so yes, this part here, this is Luna Park. You can see one of the Sydney ferries over here. And I want to um, I want to draw your attention to this area here where you can see some a uh, couple of yellow signs now i'm going to zoom into those uh signs a little bit more okay and um if i start zooming in anymore this is where the image starts to sort of fall apart you can see that um there's a lot of pixelation it just looks horrible at this point and you can sort of tell that there is a number in here i'm guessing it's 15 um but it's not really that clear. And there's also the word here that I'm guessing that means that says tickets in there. So what we're going to do is we are going to apply the effect onto this image here. And we are going to compare what it looks like in here. And then we will see the uh, the upgraded version, if you like, the enhanced version. Um, and, um, and see what the differences are. So uh, I'm just going to zoom out again. Now, to do this, very, very simple, uh, within the develop module, so you need to be in the develop module, uh, you right mouse click, and you will see uh, an option in there called enhance. Now, once this comes up, you're going to get this dialog box in here, and there's not many things you can click in here. Uh, sometimes you will have this super resolution box ticked. Um, if it's not ticked, just make sure that it is ticked. And then what Lightroom is going to do is, is it's going to analyze the whole, uh, the whole image, and it's going to give you a preview uh, within, you know, of a part of the photograph in there. So we'll let that work and we'll come back once that's finished. Okay, so that it's finished doing its uh, computation and stuff. And I'm just going to move this uh, window here to the side. What you can see here is that it's giving me a preview pane. So in here, it's showing me a, a small sample of the whole photograph uh, where it has been, uh, where the resolution has been increased, okay? So the way for me to see the before and after is if I click and hold the button on the mouse down whilst clicking in this window, I'll see the before, and you can see it's very pixelated, and then when I release, uh, you get uh, much more detail in there. Now, there's no way for me to tell where this sample is coming from on the whole, on, on the overall picture and um and what you can do is if you know where you are in the picture you can actually click and drag and move that across okay and it will recompute the preview pane and give you another sample but this is not really an efficient way of moving around in the screen so what you can do is there is a little minus uh sign down here in our magnifying glass if you click on that it's going to display the whole picture okay now uh here you got a little crosshair uh marker and you could just click where you want in the main photograph uh, for this to zoom in uh, and to place the preview pane. So I know it's roughly over here. So I'm just going to click over there. And I nearly got it, which is good. I'm just going to click and drag this across. 
And as you can see, these are the signs that we were looking at before. Um, and you can tell here that it definitely has made a difference. So if I hold to the button on the button on the mouse to see the before, you can tell that it is um, it's much more defined when I look at the after. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit enhance, and this is going to do it for the whole image. Now it does take a little bit of time because there's a lot of computing uh, stuff going on in here. Okay, so when you actually add these extra pixels that you're adding in there, what Lightroom is trying to do is it's going to work out what it thinks should be there. So it's not an exact science, which is why sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work. Um, I guess we're just used to seeing this in the movies when someone goes enhance that and you get this magical, um, you know, enhancement, but we all know that that's bullshit. And this is probably as good as the technology can go, really. So it's trying to work out what it should be there and it's making an educated guess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click enhance. And when I do that, it's going to do it for the whole photograph. Now, it's going to take a little while, as you can see. I don't know if you saw that before. It said it was going to take 10 minutes. Uh, on the top left-hand corner, we've got a progress bar which is the traditional bar that you see when you're doing anything, when you submit anything in Lightroom. And it said it was going to take about 10 minutes. And so we're going to wait for that to finish. And I'll fast forward this bit so that you don't have to wait. And I'll come back once that's finished. Okay, there it is. So it has now finished computing. And if I go back... Uh, actually, no, we'll stay here. Um, and actually, no, we'll go to the library module. Uh, we can see if I go into here that we have two images now. We've got uh, the uh, the new one here on the left and the old one on the right. So if I go into the right hand side photo, the original photo, you can see that the dimensions are still 6,720 by 4,480 over here. And if I look at the new one, it is now 13,440 by four by 8,960. And if you multiply these two numbers, you're going to get somewhere around 120 million, which is 120 megapixels. Um, but the thing is that on the screen, on a screen this size, uh, it's going to look pretty much exactly the same as I'm flicking between the two. Okay, where you're going to tell the difference is when you're actually zooming in. So when you or, or when you are displaying the photograph on a large screen, or when you're making a really large print, because that's where you want more pixels um, per uh, per square inch, so to speak. Now, let's let's zoom in back into this section here. Okay, this is the new. Uh, enhanced version. Now, the first time you open this, it's going to take a little while to open up and 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 to resolve the image because um, it is a large file. And my my computer in particular, it's not a new computer; it's an old one, so it's not used to dealing with 120 megapixels. So we'll let this uh, finish computing or finish um, uh, rendering, and I'll come back once this is finished. Okay, there it is. It's finished rendering the image, and that took about two and a half minutes to open up. So if yours takes a little while, uh, don't panic. It is normal. Now, as you can see, it has made the image a little bit sharper. Um, you can clearly see that number there is 15. Let me go back to the, um, the before picture, and we'll let that render, and I'll just zoom in to the same sort of level. And you can see that, you can sort of tell that it's 15, but it's not really anywhere near as uh, as clear as, as this one over here. Uh, now, what other sections can we look at? Um, let's have a look at this crane up here. I know that there is this word platinum next to the next to the uh, next to this crane over here. And if we look at the original one, um, let's have a look at the original one. And let's um, let's zoom in. So you can see that there's the there's the original photograph. Let's go into the new one, and you can tell that it is definitely sharper. So it it does make a difference. Again, you're not going to be able to see to, to tell on a um, on a regular screen, and 
is it the same as having a 120 megapixel camera? No, it's not because with a, with a camera that has 120 megapixels, you're actually capturing what's there. Whereas in here, Lightroom is just trying to guess. It's, a, it's an estimated guess. It's an educated guess, but it's still a guess. And it's trying to put pixels in where it thinks they should go. So it doesn't get it right every single time, um, but it does do a pretty good job. So again, it's not perfect, but it's definitely a tool that you want to have in your, uh, in your arsenal to use when applicable. So there you have it, a quick and easy way and an effective way to increase the resolution of your camera without having to spend any money on extra camera equipment. Now, if you did like this video, could I ask you to please click the like button? It makes a massive difference to me. Not only does it help me with the rankings, but it also tells me that you enjoy watching this kind of content, which I take into account when I'm planning new videos. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider doing so because I put out a couple of videos like this every week to help you with your photography. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those videos, make sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell. Now, if you haven't been to ministryoffoto.com, make sure you go check it out. That's where you're going to find links to all of my videos. You're going to find reviews, you're going to find articles, and there's also some resources that you can download. It's completely free, so make sure you go check it out. Now, if you have any questions or comments, the comment section below is probably the best place to get in touch with me, as well as all the usual social media platforms. You're going to find all the links in the description field uh, below, so make sure that you connect with me on those. So that's everything I have for you today. I want to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.